Uh, I'm pleased to report that the uh, sports pavilion uh, application is, was received on, I think, Friday of last week. Uh, that has um, is working its way through validation and, and hopefully will be out to consultation very shortly. Um, other the phase 2B is also progressing uh, through uh, having completed its consultation and now uh, we're targeting obviously looking at uh, whether there's any amendments needed and obviously um, in, in effect targeting a planning committee uh, to consider that because it's been called in by uh, North Stowe Town Council. Um, and in terms of phase three, um, again, that is progressing. Uh, we expect uh, to progress to a decision uh, later this year uh, on phase three. Um, so um, the, 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 in addition to that, there are a number of condition discharges that are coming through and, and all those kind of things. Um, and we are also starting work on the town centre uh, concepts and uh, ideas. Um, which will come undoubtedly to this forum at some point. Thanks, Andrew. Um, Dean, you want to cover off for Homes England? Yes, uh, thanks, Chair. So just a, a quick update, and I'll try and avoid uh, repeating what Andrew's just said. Um, in terms of infrastructure work, um, the, um, the contractors CISC are busy in the phase two water park. They'll be uh, constructing some bridges over the next uh, month that are part of the circular walk uh, around the lakes. And the intention is that the, um, the phase two water park will be open in um, September. Um, Wilson's Bridge, as people would have seen, is now uh, installed uh, and almost uh, complete. Uh, again, CISC are progressing, finishing works either side of the, um, the bridge to allow the bridal way to reopen. Uh, the majority of uh, the infrastructure work that CISC are undertaken uh, due to be completed in September. Uh, so in a couple of months uh, time, there might be some residual landscaping to be uh, undertaken at the appropriate time. Um, September is the date we're also targeting for uh, opening of the new um, access road. I've had some um, questions. I don't know if you want me to answer those now, Sarah, or... Uh, yes. Okay. I had a question about the timing of the town centre uh, delivery. Uh, we are uh, about to seek a partner to deliver the first phase of the town centre, as Andrew just kind of touched on. We are hoping that building work will start mid-2023 and first facilities might come on stream summer 2024. That obviously depends on a number of factors such as getting planning permission. Um, Rampton Drift Greenway, we had an inquiry about when, um, I think this is the Rampton Road Greenway, um, actually the section between the church and Rampton Drift. Um, that requires closure of the road and rerouting uh, we've always seen that as a long-term um, proposal, still some way off, uh, 2030, something like that. And the intention is to fully consult with um, residents before we um, do anything drastic, such as uh, close the road, clearly. Um, the final one was around uh, reversing alarms. Um, there have been a number of uh, issues with reversing alarms and starting um, and completing work out of hours, which we're aware of. And first thing is to apologize to any residents um, affected. We've been trying to identify responsible parties with a number of contractors and partners, subcontractors. Um, we do continually remind them about the kind of limitations um, that are appropriate in terms of working hours and um, white noise, reversing alarms, etc. Uh, most recently, there does appear to be some evidence of um, some out of hours work uh, on the urban splash site. We've uh, queried that with them. It appeared to relate to a specific uh, circumstance. Um, however, they have asked me to apologise on, uh, on their behalf to any residents who might have been affected by uh, that work. Uh, and um, they've um, provided assurances that um, 
uh, they won't conduct such activities going forward now that they've been reminded of um, requirements. I, I think that's it in terms of questions I've um, seen, Chair. Yes, um, there's just one additional in the chat to come through about Southern Access Road West connection to the roundabout, uh, the B1050 A14 entrance. Yeah, so um, there's discussions ongoing with uh, Nigel and his team at um, County. Uh, we are hoping to uh, have that available in September this year. Okay, great, thank you. Um, I think that's it for you for now. Um, I've had a question, Andrew, uh, on balancing ponds um, and the B10 cycleway, which are linked to North Stowe's development, um, having not been progressed, and when will this, or do we have a, an update? Uh, I don't have a specific update. Um, as uh, I don't want to throw Tam under the bus as well, but uh, that also relates to the um, the delivery of the cycleway on the B1050 uh, and, and those aspects. I am in discussion already with Long Stanton Parish Council uh, with regard to that, that uh, and um, also um, uh, with regard to um, uh, getting it all sorted. Just to be clear, the, the B1050, the Hatton Road ponds uh, are not part of North Stow. They are uh, betterment to Long Stanton. Uh, and part of that drainage strategy. So um, uh, can I also say as well, if you've got enforcement issues, don't moan about it on Facebook, please submit them to us on the web. Um, it's, uh, we're not out there monitoring Facebook, we've got enough to, to do. Um, so yeah, if you want it, uh, us to look into it or action it, then um, uh, please uh, either contact the councillors or uh, as I say, the enforcement website is there for people to submit complaints to. Thank you. And just to say thank you for those residents who have taken videos of how ours working, because um, it is really useful for me to go and tackle developers with um, uh, and show them proof that actually it's happening before uh, out of hours. Um, so, yeah, do continue to take those and submit them uh, as uh, it, hopefully they're not happening anymore. But um, if they do carry on, uh, that we have that. 